Do we need to add carbon when we're composting farm manures with a low carbon to nitrogen ratio like poultry manure? We may have to pay for this carbon. It's going to increase the amount of space for composting and we have to screen out the excess woody bits after the process. We know that we can compost poultry litter successfully within four weeks using forced aeration and mixing. How about composting it without aeration? Does the addition of carbon actually improve the process? Or is there a more efficient way of composting low carbon to nitrogen manure rather than by adding carbon? Our BC on-farm composting guidelines suggest that adding carbon to low carbon to nitrogen ratio manure like poultry manure speeds up the process. Does it? Here is one pile of a poultry manure mix that includes a one-to-one -one volume ratio of wood chips to poultry manure mix. It increases the carbon nitrogen ratio. A second pile doesn't contain wood chips and has a low carbon to nitrogen ratio. The moisture contents are similar at about 55%. I'm composting this same mix without wood chips in a passively aerated bin and in a small turned windrow for comparison. I mix these piles several times during the first six weeks of composting, following the recommendations in the BC guidelines. I measured temperature and oxygen during the process and maturity after six weeks. I found little benefit to adding carbon. The oxygen concentrations remained low, the temperatures were similar and the product after six weeks of composting was still very immature, according to the Solvita testing. There was little improvement with the small turned windrows. The passively aerated bin on the other hand demonstrated a much more efficient process. Oxygen concentrations were higher and the Solvita maturity test indicated a value of 6 after the 6 week process. Odor was minimal. I conducted a similar test earlier this year. In that test I compared a 1 to 1 and a 3 to 1 volume ratio of wood chips to poultry manure mix. The 3 to 1 mix pile had a good oxygen and temperature whereas the 1 to 1 mix had very low oxygen like what we see in the present piles. We may then have to add up to 75% wood chips by volume to improve the efficiency of the compost process, especially for these low carbon to nitrogen ratio materials in a passively aerated or turned windrow system. That's a lot of carbon. It requires a substantial increase in the size of the compost pad and we've got to screen out the wood chips. Yes, there is a better way. Although forced aeration may cost more initially, the process is much more efficient and we need mixing along with it. It's about understanding the microbes and what they need. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.